Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, in a previous presentation I talked about the work uh, presented by uh, Anatoly Klimov and it was this uh, erosion discharge plasma phenomenon and it, the specifics which were very interesting was that it had kind of three components and that one of these components uh, which most uh, represents the sort of behaviors that we've seen from strange radiation is that uh, it is not seeming to be interacting with the air. So we have a Mach 2 airflow coming out here um, and these components are interacting with that flow but other than where the, all three components are together there doesn't seem to be any um, uh, interaction and the actual things just go off in a straight line and so th this is showing that it's not interacting with this high uh, pressure gas Mach flow, uh, 2 airflow here and also it doesn't appear to uh, exhibit uh, Magnus force uh, movement so it kind of uh, doesn't interact with the air um, however it does clearly interact uh, with free electrons it would seem so uh, it doesn't matter whether you have a uh, a electrostatic um, potential of minus six kilovolts on a metal thing it bounces off uh, or you have a um, a plus nine kilovolts uh, electrostatic you can see again it's uh, hitting here and uh, kind of bouncing off or, or certainly splitting and, and coming off in that angle and if you have uh, a grid with an electrostatic potential on it just basically stops it dead and so it does seem to uh, interact uh, in an electrostatic fashion uh, in the uh, graphic you, image you see here you see it's kind of like bending and uh, this has got the static potential on there so it seems to be interacting with uh, an electric type nature there and we've already talked a lot about the magnetics and we're going to talk a lot more this week however you may be asking yourself how do we create these type of uh, erosion discharge um, thing so I did a little bit, bit of research on your behalf and uh, this is to get you going uh, first off uh, there is this that was presented, I think, on the 28th of uh, May uh, in the monthly, end of month, uh, Dr. Samonsenenko uh, sort of group uh, of Russian researchers. And it was a whole presentation that was presented on various forms of ball lightning. And uh, I've translated this slide from that, and it's about ero erosion discharge plasmatrons. And here you see one of the same type of devices that you saw in the work presented by Klimov. And actually, Alexandrov worked with Klimov, and I'll show you an example of that um, uh, in a few minutes. Uh, but he actually won the state prize of the uh, Soviet Union uh, with a team of uh, Timofeev and uh, Chernikov. Uh, and this was for creation of powerful plasmatrons and these were to produce plasmoids of up to 10 centimeters in diameter and a lifetime up to seconds and uh, here you can see the the discharge and i'm going to zoom into this circuit here um, and uh, just go through the basics of it and so it's over here so this is a circuit for the creation of an erosion discharge and you have an inductor, a 3,200 microfarad capacitor, a spark gap, it's grounded down here, and a bunch of resistors with takeoff points, uh, another capacitor here. Actually, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what this component is, so I'm, I'm interested to, for people to uh, give me some sort of indication as to what that is. Um, uh, anyway, that, that's interesting. It's not an electrolytic capacitor. It's got two curved sections on it. It has this arrow coming in. So uh, I, I, please put, if you know what this component is, or you can find out what it is, uh, put the description down in the uh, um, uh, video description, ask a question down there. Um, and here you have uh, a sort of a rough look at what the uh, erosion plasmatron is, uh, I guess, as a, a rough schematic. Anyway, um, I've got another example here uh, of a paper that this is so this was with Tim Mifiev and uh, AF Alexandrov and they are uh, the paper's called long lived energy consuming dusty objects appearing at lightning interaction with the soil um, you can read this in their own time i will leave all the links in the description to the video um, 
However, um, uh, there's uh, these aerogels that uh, they were uh, observing um, in some tests. They give a, a load of references, uh, some much more recent. Um, but this is kind of like uh, the kind of, it reminds me of the swamp gas type uh, discussions around ball lightning. So effectively you've got this uh, plasmatron over here and it's ejecting uh, something over a heated uh, wax, paraffin wax, uh, sort of like a pond of paraffin wax. So you've got the vapors of the paraffin wax coming up here and as the plasmatron puts its plasma through, you end up with this uh, uh, plasma ball that self-sustains and is able to persist for some uh, lengthy period of time. Anyway, that's that, uh, and uh, you can go and have a look at that, as I say, in your own time. There's another one here, which is Pulse Erosion Plasma Injector for Discharge Initiating in Electric Arc Generator of Plasma. So it's, it's an ero erosion uh, plasma generator. They had five to seven uh, kiloamps and a voltage of 3 to 5 kilovolts pulse uh, uh, 1 to 2 times 10 to the minus 2 seconds. And uh, uh, this is the device. Uh, you can see uh, the uh, suggested electrodes which are used in the, in the overall structure. And then it, they again have a circuit here. It's a slightly different kind of circuit. This is a monitoring uh, um, uh, oscillograph here. Uh, but up here you can see uh, another spark gap. So a lot of these things do have spark gaps. And as we know, spark gaps uh, create EVOs. Uh, so uh, <laughs> you have this high DIDT, this very large rate of change of current in a very small uh, period of time. So you can go and have a look at that. And it talks about the kilometers per second on, and based on the pressure and, and so on of the plasma generator table. And then lastly, there is this paper here, which is uh, by Anatoly Klimov. I haven't translated it. It is in Russian. I've asked Anatoly if he can send me a better copy of it. Um, but it is with Avery Avramenko and uh, Anatoly Klimov, and it was published in 1993. And this, I think, is probably the work that spawned the slides that you see here. And that would explain why Anatoly Klimov has the original positives of the slide that if you looked at the Russian uh, demonstration that he gave he actually uh, held those uh, photographs up. Uh, anyway so um, it's quite an interesting document. Uh, I, I recommend you read it um, but if I can get a better copy of it uh, with the images as you can see this is a very similar sort of pictures you can see here to what you're seeing here but it's not, not as high quality it's just black and white pixelated so I'm, I'm asking if he has these images in a better quality even the paper in a better quality so I can get that to you uh, for your consideration anyway there it is all of the links to the uh, documents here I will give in the description of this video so thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video